if you want to know about the accommodation process during the BARC interview, then you um, then you are on the right video. Okay, so first question: Do you get accommodation in BARC interview? Uh, answer is yes. For how many days? The answer is two, but it can vary up to one. You can get uh, if uh, there is a short of accommodation, then you can uh, get for one day accommodation. That's the day of interview. If they have enough accommodation, then you can get two day accommodation. That is the interview day and the previous day of the interview. And if there is a, a lack of you know accommodation uh, facility, uh, hostels are not vacant enough, then you might not get accommodation. Then you have to arrange your own outside the BRC colony. BRC colony is a um, large a large colony, is a huge area. Uh, beyond that, you have to you know look for a accommodation by your own. Now, if they provide accommodation, then how um, you're going to get that? And what's the charge? That's the main important question. What's the charge? Uh, there is a particular um, hostel where you get general generally you get accommodation. For my case, what happened when I reached BRC and in that hostel I reached and I found like me hundred of applicants are waiting there for getting accommodation. But officials are saying that no, there is no vacant uh, place here. You have to arrange your own. But after that, after we requested uh, them a lot, then most of us get accommodated. But those people get accommodated who were waiting before from before me. Okay. But I was not kind of, <laughs> I could not get accommodated on that hostel. So I and um, 10 or 15 people more, uh, we did not get accommodation there. If we would get accommodation there, then hostel charges would vary from 200 to 300 per day. This is the only accommodation charge, not your messing charge. Okay. Mess uh, means breakfast, dinner, lunch, or tiffin. So we did not get the hostel. Then we requested them to, um, as we are um, a new, completely new in Mumbai for the first time we visited Mumbai. Then we don't know about accommodation places or how can we find that. So we requested them to arrange anywhere in this campus, inside the campus itself, if anywhere in any guest house and all. So after those requests, they called uh, some higher authorities. And after that, we were shifted to guest house that is called NPCIL guest house. NPCIL is a kind of organization um, of BRC. So uh, then we shifted to uh, NPCIL guest house and from NPCIL guest house, they told us that maximum accommodation we can provide you is for one day only. That means if you are, um, uh, if we are allocating you one room, then when your interview is over, you have to check out. That means you have to vacate the room. So maximum one day accommodation is possible. And then we thought um, something is better than nothing. So we accepted that. And the guest house were, was very good, actually. There were AC and like a guest house, proper guest house, not a kind of hostel. That's a guest house. So, yep. So after, um, you know, after the interview, when I came, because I had a planning of three days. Why? The day of the interview, uh, you should not, um, you know, uh, plan to return. Because you don't know when your interview is going to end. What I planned, I will reach Mumbai one day before the interview and I will leave Mumbai one day after the interview. Okay. So full interview day, I have no plan of arrival or departure. So, you know, that's basically a three day plan. But in, uh, I knew that maximum accommodation I can have for two days. So I thought, let's see what happens after my interview. I reached the guest house and officially they said that I have to vacate the room. But if I vacate the room in the interview day in the afternoon, then the night I have to spend somewhere else. I don't know. So when I uh, reached there, then I thought that I will be requesting them very hard that uh, please allow me to stay there and you know, for this night only. Uh, so when I reached there, there was no, there was no, I find no, I found no officials there. But one person I met there accidentally and he suggested me a very good thing. He suggested me that don't uh, go to yourself. If they ask you to vacate the room, then talk about this. And otherwise, don't talk to this to anyone anymore. Okay. So just go to your room. If anyone asks, if anyone come to your room and uh, tells you to vacate, then you talk to them about this matter. 
डोंट गो बाय योर ओन ओके सो आई टुक द सजेशन एंड आई वेंट बाय रूम एंड आई डिड नॉट टॉक टू द ऑफिशियल्स यू नो द रिसेप्शन द रिसेप्शन और द ऑफिशियल्स वर मैनेजिंग द एकोमोडेशन आई डिड नॉट टॉक टू देम अबाउट दिस मैटर Uh, so in the next morning nobody came to my room i was expecting that uh, someone may come at night and uh, tell me that you have to vacate your room then i will tell him or her that uh, at uh, the, at night i can't vacate the room uh, tomorrow morning i will do that so i did not talk to them um, you know unless and until they talk to me so in the next morning uh, i vacated the room and i said that time i said then uh, ki yesterday it was said that i have to vacate the room but uh, i had returned ticket one day after so i am vacating the room and checking it out now and they said that's okay fine so totally i got a complete um, they charged me for two days and uh, two days in the guest house you can expect that it's a little, it's not cheaper okay but uh, it was costlier than the hostel uh, i was charged 350 rupees per day and uh we had a tiffin in the associated mess tiffin and a dinner so that charge included there so you know maximum cost um, there was 1000 rupees 350 into 2 that means 700 and 300 and all um for breakfast uh, lunch etc and i would also suggest you that uh, you carry some dry foods with you like cake biscuits cookies because uh, the three days i spent there uh we some of us have visited in a group the whole campus i thought on that um, we don't know we are going to come here or not again but let's visit the campus so we visited the campus well but we found uh, no shops of grocery or something from where you can uh, you know you can buy a, a kind of biscuit cake etc we did not find a, any kind of shop so i would uh, highly suggest you to carry cake biscuit with you okay that will help you because uh, you will be having a long journey um, for reaching there and it will take a lot of time for waiting and finding the hostels it will uh, take a lot of time and the official procedures to get accommodation so uh, some dry foods should be with you that's all for accommodation accommodation is not costly if you get accommodation outside the campus that's costly very much costly but fortunately we get accommodation in brc itself and i was lucky initially i was thinking that i am not lucky enough but after that when i got the guest house and with ac in the hostel there was no ac and uh, my interview date was in june and that was a full summer full summer day so in that day with that much of struggle with luggage uh, from this hostel they are sending me to another guest house so this distance i have to uh, you know cover with on my foot because there is no car or rickshaw facility there inside the campus so after that when you are getting a very very good room like a guest house and with ac shower and so on that's a very good facility they provided so that's about um, that's all about accommodation if you have any another question another doubt ask me in the comment section i would like to answer that thank you